guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sonia. I review high-end and luxury beauty. If that's something you like, please subscribe to my channel. I'm still a very small channel, but I'm very dedicated and I can't wait for you to see this video. This video is actually a long time coming. I've been trying to film it a few times, but I was ill for a little while, so I'm kind of behind on my schedule, but this is going to be my 2022 favorites so far and before I'm gonna start the video I do want to mention a few things one I did a palette video ranking of 2022 palettes that I tried I have it somewhere on my channel already I'll link it somewhere up here and also at the end of this video and also I did another video where I did my summer favorites I don't want to include any of the products in my summer favorites, but those, all those products that I mentioned in my summer favorites, 100% would be in this video as well. I want to mosey this along a little bit. I'm going to try to keep it to one product, a category, because these videos tend to get so long, but I have a great lineup for you guys. I've also demoed everything on my face already, so I'm gonna have a little bit of B-roll going, and if you liked anything you see, I'm probably gonna have some affiliates down below. If you wanna support my channel, no pressure, but you can use some of my affiliates. I'll make sure to put the retailer right next to it to see if that's the retailer that you wanna shop at. Anyway, let's get into the video. The first product that I wanna talk about is the Auric Bear Plush Ritual. This is sort of just a lip prep step for me. I have tried everything from the Auric brand. I live in Europe, so I do pay a hefty tax when I buy Auric, but I just, I don't know, I kind of fell in love with the brand. I love all of their products, and I've really been enjoying it for this year already. And this is really nice for if I do, for example, lipstick reviews. I prep my lips the day before, and afterwards, after like a good night's sleep, my lips look plump and beautiful. It also smells really nice. It smells like vanilla and it feels really nourishing. It kind of feels like a hybrid between a lip gloss, a lip oil and a lip balm. So there's something in between there, but it really works for my lips really well. I've panned this already if you see it in the B-roll and that's because I really enjoy this. This is something that's on my vanity just living there because I don't want to forget it. There is a little like gua sha uh, thing that comes with it. To be honest, I usually use this after I showered, so with clean hands and clean fingers. And I just go in with my finger because it got too much of a like cleaning idea with that little spoolie, the gua sha, I don't know, what do you call that, a little stone? Too much of hassle to clean to me. So I don't really use that anymore, but I do like the entire experience, the fact that like it is included for those of you that enjoy that and wanna have a little bit of more of a spa moment, I guess. So definitely a recommendation for me, just Auric as a brand as a whole, cruelty free, um, I don't know the YouTuber behind it, so I don't follow her content, but I do really like all of her products. So next up, my favorite primer for this year. It's not my favorite in the summer, but it has been a, you know, tried and true. I'm already halfway, and that's the Auric Glow Lust, and I have the shade Selenite. I actually really like this shade. I remember in the beginning, I was a little bit hesitant, thinking if I should have gotten a different shade, darker than this one, but honestly, I think it looks really beautiful. It's a little bit thick and consistent, but I love the coverage that this gives and the glow. You can mix it in with your foundation to make a matte foundation or a semi-matte foundation a glowy foundation and I use it on its own as well. It looks amazing. In my last video that I did or at least the last video that I filmed, I filmed a video where I tried the Cheeky Posh Blush by Victoria Beckham Beauty in the shade Fever and this is the only thing that I was wearing on my face and with a little bit of concealer. And it conceals all my red areas, so even on its own, I think it's such a beautiful product. I would highly recommend this if you haven't tried this. And if you are in Europe and you want to try this, but you just think it's too expensive, I do have some comparisons with the Lisa Eldridge... Uh, what is that called? Elevated Glow and Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter. They are comparable, but this one is a little thicker and has a little bit more coverage. Now, hands down, my favorite complexion product is the Fresh Water Tint by Chanel. It's not a new product of 2022, but I just want to mention that. I did mention that as well in my Summer Favorites video. But my favorite foundation that came out in 2022 that I have tried this year is the Chanel Number no. 1 Foundation. 
this foundation is beautiful it's expensive it's probably one of my most expensive foundations i dream about this foundation i have the shade bd31 which is a great shade for me and a great match so if you are my shade buddy uh, bd31 is kind of where i'm living i don't have to use a lot of this it does have a fragrance so people that don't like fragrances chanel products usually do and um, this smells like the camellia flower just like the chanel brand usually does it's long wearing, it wears well with any weather. So in the Netherlands you have rain, you got cold, you got heat. Uh, it wears well no matter what. I don't have to use a lot. I can do low coverage all the way up to medium coverage. And it just makes my skin look so much better, like filtered, but in the most realistic way possible. I love this foundation, guys. So if you haven't checked this one out yet, I would highly suggest to check it out. I don't have a new concealer, but the concealer I use today is my favorite concealer. It's the Kosas, I think it's called Revealer Conceal Concealer. I do have a different shade this time. I'm wearing a 3W. Before this, I was wearing 3.5W, but I thought maybe that one was a little bit too yellow. I actually think this one might be a little bit too light for my complexion right now. It's perfect for the winter time though. It's still my favorite concealer formula. It's my 2021 favorite, and it's gonna be my 2022 favorite as well. I hope I'm going in the right order, but I did try a powder this year that I've been really loving. I'm already like making such a dent in this powder, and that's the Westman Atelier Vital Press Skincare Powder. I have been loving this. This is in the shade Cream. There is a multitude of shades. There's also just a translucent and there's a pinky toned one if you want to do a little bit more of a brightening under eye. I decided to go for this one. I like a more realistic everyday look and I've been loving this powder. I did compare this to my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I did say in that video that I prefer the Charlotte Tilbury powder but I hope that I conveyed the idea that both of them are such champions. Both powders work really well. I think this one is a little bit longer lasting whereas I think the Charlotte Tilbury one is more of a filtered look and this one is less filter but holds on for longer. I also thought that in the end of the video, I felt like this one is a little bit more bright. I've been digging into this, fingers, brushes, whatever, and it still works amazing. Love this powder. If you are interested in this brand, this is one of my favorite brands, West Ventilier. All the products that I try are just amazing. Since we're still in that Westman Atelier vibe, uh, the eyebrow product that I used is also by Westman Atelier. I love this formula. I'm not really a big fan of the packaging but the formula in itself works really well it does come with a spoolie i don't really use this spoolie at all i use my own abh brow spoolie but i think that westman atelier does the colors really nice and i feel like this is a very great color for me personally this is described as like a dark brown warm i don't think that necessarily i have warm eyebrows i was afraid it was going to be a little bit too red but honestly i think it looks really nice on me and it's a long lasting formula really easy to blend really easy to use again uh westman atelier one of my favorite brands if you haven't checked it out it, i would recommend it if you're into vegan clean uh, uh cruelty free and just really beautiful packaging and a really nice luxury experience i think this is the brand for you guys i am going to do a little shout out to my 2021 favorites both of these are nearly panned this is my gucci pencil in the shade brun the number four one literally there's nothing left like <laughs> it's such a small little pencil so i am going to finish it this year this is the kosa's airbrow uh the shade i think brown or dark brown um this one is almost done it's almost finished but both of these i have still been thoroughly enjoying and these are my 2021 favorites i'm mostly gonna pan them and i'm gonna replace them for my westman atelier one i don't have a new contour product that i want to talk about but i still am loving the westman atelier contour stick mine has almost uh finished and they're quite pricey so i'm a little bit bummed out by that <laughs> Nonetheless, it's a great formula, really easy to blend, a really nice undertone. I have the shade Biscuit, which is the lightest shade, and I would definitely repurchase it once it is completely gone because it's such an easy to use product. And people do comment on my contour sometimes and they ask me what I'm using, for example, for my nose contour because that's a, quite a different undertone or for underneath my neck area to kind of shape my neck a little bit more. And this is still a tried and true 
beautiful product. Again, if you haven't checked this one out, they did add another color to the range this year. So there should be three colors right now for multiple skin tones. I'm using the lightest shade, but I am interested maybe in trying the second to lightest shade, so the middle shade, maybe for the summertime. I don't know. Has anyone tried it? Let me know. Then let's move on to my favorite bronzers. I'm going to start with cream bronzers and I have two that I want to mention just because yeah, I'm going to expand the category a little bit. I feel like the like the second one needs a mention on my channel. But my favorite cream bronzer that I tried this year is the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkiss bronzer and I have the shade medium. This is such a blendable product, such a beautiful product. Like I love the mirror that this comes with. And I love the undertone that this comes out with. This probably is the more long wearing cream bronzer that I've tried. And I've been thoroughly loving it. It looks so natural on the skin. This only with a little bit of concealer. Mm, guys, beautiful, beautiful bronzer. I'm actually debating on getting the light one for contour because that one seems a little bit more neutral toned. This one is definitely a bit warmer, but it doesn't pull a very red on me. I have been loving this so much, guys, and the packaging is just, ugh. It is very large, so it's not really easy to travel with. So the bronzer that I usually travel with that is also cream is the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick. I have the shade Happy Soul. This one has been knocked off its throne because this was gonna be my favorite for 2022 so far. It is a very similar, I guess I'm a bit more red toned than the Charlotte Tilbury one. And this one is way more emollient. So it's a little less long lasting than the Charlotte Tilbury one also. And when you look at value per gram, the Charlotte Tilbury is a better value per gram. Nevertheless, convenience wise, I think that a stick bronzer is so convenient. I also like this when I'm traveling. For a while, the bronzing stick was like the one that I was using religiously. And then Charlotte Tilbury bronzer came along and it kind of knocked it off its throne. But it's probably the best product that I've used from Rare Beauty and I like the line a lot. Then let's go into powder bronzers. I also have two in this category. Uh, same reason, I used one religiously this year and then it kind of got knocked off his throne. So let's first talk about my number one bronzer that I've been loving this year and that is the Chanel bronzer. Oop, it's not actually uh, named a bronzer. It's called the Oversized Healthy Glow Sunkissed Powder. But let's be honest, it is a bronzer. I've definitely been denting this one. This one has a smell as well, a very Chanel smell, and I love that this isn't a flat matte bronzer. There is a bit of shine to this. I really like the undertone. I have the shade medium, I believe, and putting this over the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer is such a match made in heaven. They complement each other really well. I have really been enjoying this oversized powder and I also love the fact that it comes with a huge mirror as well. It's really easy to do your makeup with and putting this on in my crease area and all over the face without a blush, without anything and just a little bit of mascara and a lippy, people have complimented me on my actual look and sometimes people confuse me wearing this with the new Chantecaille ray cheek and eye shade just because this is so luminous on my skin so yeah it's a huge powder i definitely feel like it's worth the money chanel is pricey but if you're looking for a great bronzer that isn't a flat matte and has a little bit of sheen not a glitter but sheen and you're looking for one that isn't too i guess red toned i would suggest you to look at this one maybe try it out at a boutique if you can now the bronzer that i've been loving and kind of has been knocked off its throne by the chanel one it's a bronzer that didn't come out this year but it's a beautiful bronzer formula and it's actually the le bouge rouge bronzer this is a la terre bronzer in the shade blonde so the lightest shade and i have been loving this bronzer now this is not a very known brand i don't feel like people review this brand a lot it's a clean beauty brand and it really holds to a very high standard according to um sustainability in the beauty community creating awareness it's clean it's uh, i believe everything is vegan everything is cruelty free it's a french brand and it's just one of those brands that like i kind of have near to my heart it is pricey if you buy the entire packaging but if you buy the bronzer alone for luxury beauty standards i feel like it's really fairly priced if you're someone that has a hard time looking for bronzers and you really want uh, a bronzer that doesn't have any red in it, I would definitely suggest you to look at this one. 
this one is so um, yellow toned and I know that some of you have been looking for a yellow toned bronzer this is a matte so there's no sheen to it and I have been loving this using this for example on top of my Charlotte Tilbury or my rare beauty one just to set it it looks really beautiful but it's also really great on its own so nothing bad to say about this it's just right now I'm feeling the glowy bronzer okay so let's move on to blush I mentioned a few blushes when I did my summer video and I don't want to repeat myself but there were so many blushes I tried this year that were just so good but this one actually takes the cake this is the Westman Atelier blush stick in the shade Mimi this is a limited edition shade i don't think it's available right now i feel like on the website you could sign up for when it's in restock again and honestly I, guys i think that this should just be part of the core line i love this blush stick you can wear it when you have a dramatic eye look but also when you do just a day-to-day -day look doesn't matter what lip you have this is one of those really easy colors that just goes because it looks so natural and just goes with all the makeup that you have this is also my favorite blush formula right now and I actually have all the Westman Atelier blushes, but this one I tried this year and I have been loving. I really have been using it a lot already. And I used it today, and as you can see, it just gives you such a natural flush. Really easy to blend out, really easy to use. Westman Atelier products, especially for the complexion, are just so easy to wear and so great for that everyday makeup look then i think in the demo i moved on to eyes uh, i did my palette ranking already but i have two eye products that i do want to mention because i have been loving them and i feel like they need some extra loving on my channel and first one is the auric smoke reflect in the shade defiance this is the kind of brown shade with the golden champagne topper this cream formula is actually performing outperforming my charlotte tilbury um, what are those? Uh, Ice to Mesmerize. This is such a great formula. It's long wearing. It's, it's so beautiful on its own. You don't actually have to wear the glitter on top, but it really transforms the look if you do. If you're someone that also has an office job just like me and you just want to throw something on and get out the door really quickly and you're looking for a one and done shadow, I would definitely suggest you to look at this one. It's such an easy to wear color. I have three colors right now, but as of right now, just for an everyday day look, I want to recommend this one. Then another great eye product that I've tried this year is one of the Victoria Beckham Lit Lusters in the shade Starlight. This is such a beautiful golden shade. If you are someone that has kind of warm tones in their skin, I think it just complements my skin a lot. It just enhances it a little bit and it's such a nice combination with the Auric Smoke Reflect. I put the Auric Smoke Reflect more to the side and I put this all over my lid and then I went over it with the glitter of the Auric smoke reflect the lid lusters as well are one of my favorite one and done shades i have all of them it's just one of those like things that i need to have all of them of so check out my video if you want to see all of them demos i did a part one and a part two my favorite mascara that i've been trying and loving it kind of outperformed all of my other mascaras so I, I do need to force myself to use the other mascaras that i have or else just money gone to waste but my favorite mascara has been the rare beauty mascara it's such a great mascara for both lengthening and volumizing and on its own it's such a beautiful product i love the wand i do get a little bit messy because it's a, a thicker wand in my opinion but you know the cleanup is really nice i love that i don't have to tug the lids uh, to get this off either so it's easy to apply it doesn't smudge throughout the day and it makes my lashes look amazing and it's easy to take off so uh, actually it's probably the best mascara that i've tried ever in my entire life i can't I can't see me ever moving on from this honestly but you know time will only tell I did get the mini to try it out and I've still been using the mini so the mini is really good value for money for highlighter I have a number one highlighter that I have been loving honestly loving and that is the Chanel Refni Camellia highlighter this is a limited edition but I know it's still available in some areas around Europe and maybe in your area as well so if you haven't picked this one up yet please please check it out if you were even interested this used to be a flower design as you can see my flower design is completely like jacked because i went in hard i love this highlighter i'm not much of a highlighter person to be honest but this one oh swirl it around with the brush that you actually get i usually don't like the brushes that like this comes with but it's like that 
product that makes my skin look so luminous and so beautiful and honestly it's like it's a it's just i no words no words guys <laughs> then on second place a non uh, limited edition highlighter that i do want to mention is very similar to the chanel highlighter that i just spoke about but it's a little more everyday friendly a little more understated and that is the Le Bouge Rouge Highlighter. There's currently only one shade. This is a beautiful champagne highlighter and just really looks so amazing on the skin. There is a little bit of pigment, but it it packs it packs a very natural punch. So even though you do see the highlighter show up in your skin, it's a very natural highlighter. And oh, it's again by Le Bouge Rouge, which like really just has my heart. Okay, so let's talk about lips. There's so many lip products that I liked. I mentioned a few in my summer video. So I'm not going to repeat myself with all the products that I liked this year. I still have so many lip products that I want to demo. So I might just do my favorite lipsticks video one day but i guess my favorite for this year has been both of the hindash lip tone and the hindash call me peaches i think it's called like manifesto lipstick or something like that in the shade call me peaches this lip combination is so beautiful i love this i don't know what hindash did because i normally am like okay well peach lips it's been done by every single brand what's new but for some reason this combination is just golden to me it looks so beautiful so spring and summertime appropriate it's this lip liner by the way it's just one of those lip liners that i can use for so many lipsticks it's sort of a peachy nude but i can use it with, for example my fenty beauty pose queen my charlotte tilbury cover girl my vive beauty in the shade of vive uh, my chanel 838 uh, Allure Rouge Allure Extrait lipstick, which is like a true like coral lipstick. This brown just works on so many lipsticks because of that peach tone. So the shade, oh sorry, the shade is called Hush. But yeah, the shade Hush, beautiful. Then Hindash also came out with a peach lipstick and the combination of the two is just so beautiful. This is a matte lipstick, but it wears really well. It's probably one of my favorite mattes that I've tried ever in my life. And in terms of his collection, if you want to pick up anything, I'm like very mediocre about all the other products, but the lip products I'm very, very much in love with. I don't feel like they get enough hype because they're actually really good. Yes, it is a matte, but it wears really well it doesn't feel too drying on the lips and the combination it's the combination of these two that really gets me singing then for lip gloss i honestly i don't know if it came out this year i'm getting all confused but the lip gloss formula that i've been loving is the victoria beckham beauty posh glosses and this one is the shade tan line i put this all over i have a few favorite shades but tan line is definitely one of my favorites and the one that i constantly go back to it's just a really brown, easy 90s shade. And if you do a nude lip, you can slap this one over it and it kind of like airbrushes everything and glosses it up. So Victoria Beckham Beauty's glosses, probably my favorite gloss formula right now. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, please do. I love other glosses and I have two videos on their gloss formula. But those were all my favorites demoed, but I do have two products that I didn't talk about yet, but I do want to just mention. One is the Victoria Beckham Cheeky Posh Blush Stick in the shade Fever. I recently got this one and this color, uh, I did not think I was going to like, but this is love at first sight, guys. This looks so beautiful on the cheeks because when you blend it out, it looks a little intimidating when you first apply it. But when you blend it out, it actually looks kind of peach toned, peach, like a peachy orange. Uh, it looks great for the summer. This blush formula is also one of my favorites and it blends out really nice. It is quite long wearing and I do want to mention it because it's sort of an unfair mention because I literally just got this. But it's so beautiful that I, yeah, I just need to mention it. So check that one out. It's new. And check out my video if you want to see it on my skin color, my skin tone, because it, it really blew me away. Then the last product that I want to mention that I didn't know where to put in a single category is this face palette by Le Fille and Rouge. 
This face palette is such a beautiful French girl palette. I love the highlighters in here, guys. The highlighters, oh, this is also one of those cruelty-free, I think it's also vegan like brands. The brand is originally from France, but it's slowly getting a little bit more recognition in the rest of the Western world. And it's just a such a beautiful product. These blushes slash lip colors, stunning, stunning for the summer. This coral shade, you understand, I'm a bit of a theme here, but it's such a nice shade to just slap on the lips like a French girl, you know, so you tap off a little bit and just tap a little bit on the lips. It's a bit of more of a um, stiffer formula in terms of a blush, but it does blend out eventually. You make sure you use a little bit so don't go in like really heavy-handed you don't need to go in heavy-handed but it is long wearing and it does melt to the touch so you can heat up the product which makes it easier for you to blend out then the highlight formula so this is the first time that i tried a highlighter from them i don't think they have any other highlighters in their collection but this highlighter formula is beautiful. I find it a little bit comparable to the Westman Atelier Super Loaded Tinted Highlight, but then on steroids because there's way more pearlescent highlight in it, especially this champagne color. I like a great champagne highlight, but this one is just, it catches the light so beautifully like a mirror. There are three highlighter shades in here. They do promote you to put it on your eyes as well. Personally, I don't think these are eye appropriate. They crease on me like crazy, but on the face, they look perfection. They just look so like my skin, but better. I don't know. I don't know how they did it. So I do feel like this worth mention because I have been really enjoying this palette uh, off camera and I didn't know where to put this in any category if you are looking into this please check out my review if you want to see it on my skin tone but I do recommend this it's definitely a really different vibe than some of the products that I've been mentioning <laughs> this entire year and throughout this video this is definitely great for a kind of that minimalist French girl look so guys that is my video all wrapped up and done what do you guys think of my favorites so far I love doing these videos but they do take a little bit of time to film so i'm sorry this one came out so late i've been loving all of these products again all these products will be linked down below so please check it out if you do want to support my channel and you want to use one of the affiliates if you have any questions make sure to comment down below or you can check out my instagram i'm trying to hype up my instagram a little bit because it needs a little bit more loving and the more loving it gets, the more I'm gonna get comfortable on Instagram and posting on there as well. So please check out my Instagram, Sonia Butler 2021, because 2021 is when I started my Instagram and my channel. Lastly, like this video. If you like these type of favorite videos, I'm gonna make a favorite playlist to just see how my makeup progresses every single year. Also, my anniversary is coming up for my YouTube channel. I believe it's on the 22nd of July. So I just want to mention that there's no reason for me to mention it except um, I'm pretty excited and I want to thank you guys all so much for subscribing and for those that haven't, please subscribe to my channel if you want to support me. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!